Alright, this is just a quick video to show you how to set the base timing on your Megasquirt PNP. I'm just going to bring up Megatune, which I've already done here, and then start the car. Go up here to the Spark menu and choose Spark Settings. And you'll see the trigger angle is at 65 is where we had it on the uh, MM9093 and MM9094 models. Uh, that's the default setting as it comes from the factory. Um, what you'll want to do is come down to fixed angle, and that should be at negative 10 by default. Set that to a positive 10, and click burn to ECU. At that point, you can click close, and you should see at your spark angle gauge here, it's commanding 10 degrees before top dead center. Um, now, have somebody go with a timing light and put it on the crank and tell you how far off you are. Um, you want to use either a timing light that has no advance calculated into it, or if it does have advance calculated into it, set it to zero so that it essentially has no advance calculated into it. Um, Basically, you don't want that factored into the equation. Um, next, you will adjust. Come back in here to the Spark Settings menu, and you're going to change this trigger angle until the timing light reads this 10 degrees that you've set the fixed angle to. So we've told the computer to command 10 degrees before top dead center, but right now, if you went and put a timing light on it, it's probably not going to equal that we're going to change this number here, trigger angle, until it does. So we'll have somebody up there with the timing light and they'll say, oh, it looks like it's way off right now, at least 10 degrees. And we're not, say you're not sure which direction to go, so you're going to go one direction or the other. Say we'll go to, down to 60 degrees of trigger angle. Click burn to ECU. And then you ask them, hey, is it closer or further away? And they say, hey, it's closer, but it's not there yet. So Go a little further, 55 degrees. And they're going to tell you, it, at this point, I, I know what the trigger angle is on this car. At this point, they're going to tell you, oh, it's really close, but it's still a couple degrees away, two or three degrees. So go another two degrees. I just burned that to the ECU. At this point, they're still looking at it with the timing light. And the notch on the crank pulley is very close to the 10 degree mark, but still not quite there. They're going to tell you to go just a little bit further. Try one degree. So we're going to put 52 in there. Burn to ECM. At this point, if you put a timing light on this particular car, every car is going to be different. Keep that in mind. Don't just plug 52 in yours. If that was the case, we would have set it at 52 from the factory. Every car is different. But on this car, if you plug 52 in here and burn it, go put a timing light on it, it's going to be at a perfect 10 degrees before top dead center. At that point, we're going to come down here to fixed angle, set that back to negative 10, and click burn. What that's going to do is tell it to no longer use to fix 10 degrees of ignition timing, but instead to use the ignition map. So I've burned that, I'm going to close, and you can see now over here on the gauge, it's commanding what's on the map, which at this point is 17, 18 degrees of timing. Um, that's how you set base timing. That's all there is to it. A couple notes um, from the Spark settings menu. These settings in the middle, don't touch them unless you know exactly what you're doing. Set the wrong one to the wrong thing, you're going to burn up your igniter or your coil. The trigger angle setting. If for some reason it looks like you need to be less than 50, then set it back up to, say, 55 or 60. Set your base timing using your crank angle sensor the old-fashioned way. Loosen the 12 millimeter nut on it or whatever it is on, on your particular car on the, on the 90 to 95 Miata. It's a 12 millimeter. Adjust, rotate the crank angle sensor while the engine's running to get it. Do that 10 degrees that you would have set down here in fixed angle and then lock it down and then if you need to fine-tune it with the trigger angle setting after that you can um, if you find that you know your adjustment was a degree or two off or whatever just you don't want this to be negative or I'm sorry to be lower than 50
Oh, yeah, one other note. If you are running a 90-93 Mazda Miata with the MM9093 MSPNP, your crank pulley has one notch on it. You'll line it up with the mark labeled 10 on the timing indicator when you're using your timing light. If you're running a MM9495 on your 94 or 95 Miata, then you will, line, you will have two marks on your crank pulley and two marks on your timing indicator, one with a T, one with a 10. You'll line up a mark with each of those when your timing light is set to zero, and that will put you at 10 degrees. Uh, if you are using one of our other Megasquirt plug-and-play systems, you'll need to look at your factory manual or possibly in that Megasquirt plug-and-plays manual for how to set that particular car to 10 degrees base timing.